Today's show is brought to you by Keeps, helping men keep their hair and prevent hair loss. Stay tuned for how you can save 50% on your first order. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an easy hook and ring game that's fun to play. Let's get started with everything you'll need to build this fun little game. You're going to need a three quarter inch piece of wood, a wooden dowel. You'll need a couple of cup hooks, uh, not nearly that many, some string, a couple of rings, and a bunch of tools like a drill, a sander, and a saw. You'll also need something to measure with and something to keep things straight like a square. You will not need a sledgehammer, but you will need some drill bits and some paint to make it pretty when you're done. If you're a guy like me, then the chances of you having some type of hair loss are pretty good. In fact, two out of three guys will have some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. If that's you, the best time to do something about it is now. Keeps has licensed doctors that will review your information online and then recommend the hair loss treatment that's right for you. You don't even need to leave your house because your FDA approved medications will be shipped to your door every three months. And you can message your Keeps doctor 24-7 with any questions or concerns. The sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you can save. So what are you waiting for? Take the first step to prevent hair loss by going to Keeps.com slash Kip K. You'll save 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Kip K. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to measure out a 9 by 11 inch piece of wood. This exact size is not crucial as long as the longer side is a couple of inches longer than the shorter side. After you've measured that out, go ahead and cut it up. It's always a good idea to wear gloves and safety glasses whenever you're using a power saw. Okay, now that the base has been cut out, it's time for your top support piece, and I'm using a 1 by 3 inch piece of wood. This one is 24 inches long, and I'm going to measure and cut it down to size to 18 inches. Now it's time to grab that wood dowel. Mine is 1 and a quarter inch in diameter and you're going to need one that's at least 12 inches long. So measure it to 12 inches and give it a rip. Your bottom support is done. Now grab the base, the first piece of wood we cut, and we're going to measure from corner to corner to find the exact center of this piece of wood. Once we've done that, we're going to take a small drill bit and drill straight through that piece of wood at the center point. I'll go ahead and sand the bottom support now because we're getting ready to assemble it and I won't be able to get all those edges once it's put together. Now I'm going to countersink this hole because the wood screw I'm using has an oval head and I'm going to want that to sit flush with the piece of wood. Then I'll take that same drill bit, which by the way is a little bit smaller in diameter than the wood screw I'm going to be using, and drill right in the center of that dowel. Then I'll begin running that wood screw through the bottom of the base up into the dowel. Once the screw makes contact with the dowel, it may be easier to just screw the dowel into the screw from the other side. And I'll add some wood glue just to keep it nice and tight. And when you're all done, that wood screw on the other end should be flush to the wood so the base lays flat. And it's always a good idea to use a level to make sure the bottom base support is nice and square. Now we'll be using two eye hooks on the top of our support. So after finding the center of each end of that top support, we're going to drill a small hole and be sure not to go all the way through the wood. This will be a starter hole for our eye hooks. Now we'll find the center of that top support, which will be 9 inches. We'll mark the center, and because this screw needs to sit flush, we will countersink that hole and then we'll drill a small hole right down the center all the way through this top support. We'll need to pre-drill a couple of holes for the cup hooks, so we'll measure up two inches from the bottom of the dowel on both sides of it, make a mark, and then drill two small holes on each end. Now 
Then we're just going to eyeball the center of the top of that dowel, make a mark with a pencil, and then drill into the top of the dowel with that same drill bit. We'll run a screw through the top support and then down into the dowel. Make sure that top screw is flush with the top support. Now it's time for some sanding, so we're going to sand our entire hook and ring game. Make sure there's no sharp corners and no splinters. Now it's time to give it some paint. And I had this red enamel in the garage that I thought looked good enough. So using a brush, I'm going to brush the entire hook and ring game and then let it dry thoroughly. The final steps are to screw in the two cup holders on each side of the dowel and then screw in the eye hooks on both ends of the top support. Now go ahead and grab those two rings and place one on each of the cup hooks. Then you'll loop your string through the top eye hook and then down to the ring with enough leeway where you can actually swing it and add a hook on the cup hook. Your hook and ring game is done. Now it's just a matter of finding a buddy to play with. You can score any way you want, the first to five, to first to 10, the choice is yours. And that's how to make a fun and easy hook and ring game.